Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm bringing you a review of another Gabor wig. This one is called Everyday Elegant, and the color on Everyday Elegant is GL27-29, also known as Chocolate Caramel. Side note, this color is way lighter than the MV color of the same name. So this is the same color that's in the manufacturer photo for this wig, and it kind of threw me off because when I opened up the box, I mean, as you could tell with the sunlight shining on this, this hair, it's significantly lighter than what you see in the product picture. And in fact, it's lighter than I think even the product code would belie because that 29 would be closer to a medium auburn than a light one. But all of the colors from the Gabor line are quite subdued. They're quite, um, sort of professional and natural looking. And so because of that, you know, the base shade is obviously going to be more of that light auburn, as you see here, but it's also got that medium auburn in it too. This one actually weird... just looks like a kind of uh, reddish, light, golden brown. In the less direct lighting, as you can see, as I step back a little bit, it, it does take on a little bit of that sort of caramely light brown hue. It's just when you get into the intense sunlight that you can see more of those ginger tones. So just wanted to throw that out there. This is a very, very natural looking light sort of auburn brown. This wig gets requested all the time. It's relatively new to the Gabor line and I think it's adorable. I think that as far as shags go, this one is probably one of my favorites. Um, I have been playing around with it to try to see what kind of texture, what kind of volume I can get. And it's like, no matter what I do to this wig, it's still kind of cute looking. <laughs> I love wigs like that, because you can't go wrong. I mean, it basically looks good no matter what condition it's in. I mean, it doesn't matter if you part it to the side, because it's got this lace front. You could do off the face styling if you really chose to, or just let it do its thing, because it kind of wants to flop down a little bit. You can muss it up, fuss it up. Just very, very cute. It's got these little wings on the side, so you can curl those out if you like, kind of like in the product picture. I mean, just lots and lots of styling possibilities. I think, I think of the textured shags that um, are of this length, I think this one and Charlotte by Tressalure are probably my two favorites of all the ones that I've reviewed. Um, I also really like Angie by Envy, though that one's a lot of hair and you really have to style the front of it a little bit to get it to work. But as far as the shake and go ones that you don't really have to do much of anything with right out of the box, Charlotte by Tressalure is amazing. And this one's really great. Sky by Noriko is also a really good one, though I think that the layering in Sky being as short as it is in the front isn't quite as flattering on me as some of these longer uh, shags. So let me go ahead and do my little 360 so you can see what Everyday Elegant looks like from all sides. So Everyday Elegant has this lace front as I alluded to earlier. So let me zoom in on that for you so you can see that's a really nicely done lace front. Very, very convincing. Very well done. And as far as the mono features go, which I'll show you when I take the cap off in just a second, but those are also fairly well done. So speaking of that, why don't I go ahead and take this one off so that way I can go ahead and show you the cap features. So this one has a lace front, as I mentioned just a few seconds ago. It also has this hand-tied monofilament part. It's a dedicated side part. It's on the left-hand side. So um, that's a pretty common occurrence in, in these uh, mono part wigs that it's gonna be on the left. Um, there's also a little bit of permatease here on the top of the wig to kind of give it a little bit of natural volume as well as obscure the wefting at the top of the cap. The back and sides are eh, kind of stretchy, but this one doesn't really stretch much as you can kind of tell. I'm not really getting much give there. Um, so definitely fits true to average head size. The nape is very nicely extended and felt, and it has these really nice Velcro adjusters in the back. And then the ear tabs are also felt, which is very, very nice. 
This wig has a ton of layering with lots of styling possibilities. As far as the cut goes, it's actually very similar in cut to the Stylista, which doesn't look in the manufacturer photos like it's a shag, but it's totally a shag, not a bob. Same thing here. This one is definitely a shag. Look at all the flared and flipped out parts here in the back. Uh, that's a very beautiful and easy to wear styling feature. You won't really have to do much of anything to this wig except maybe shake it out and maybe smooth it down with your hands a little bit, but you could wear this out without much effort at all. I mean, you could play with these layers and really bring them out with a little bit of styling cream or synthetic safe styling spray, but you really don't have to. Everyday Elegant comes with enough built-in style that she doesn't really require much work other than that. So I'm gonna give her a gentle shake and put her on my head so you can kind of see what I mean there. You can fluff her up a little bit more. <laughs> this one's so fun. This one's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of flipping and flaring and texture and it's just very cute, but still kind of dainty looking, which I like. The weight on Everyday Elegant is only 2.5 ounces. It's very, very lightweight. The front is 4.5 inches, which is definitely made to be swept off to the side. The crown down is 5.25 inches. The sides are 5.25 inches, but it's heavily layered. So some of these layers are gonna be longer, some of them are gonna be shorter. And then the nape is 2.75 inches. So thank you for watching, and I'm Heather from sisterwigs.com. Check out my website if you get a chance. And until next time, have a great night. Bye-bye.